yeah, welcome back, part three, creating melodies in Logic Pro. So in the first video, I went over how to do it in real time using the transposer MIDI FX in Logic Pro. In the second video, we went over how to co convert audio to MIDI using flex time in Logic Pro. In this video, we're gonna go over what if you don't have a keyboard, a MIDI controller, what if your sense of timing is just not very good? Um, or what if you just wanna try a new way of creating music just uh, for creative uh, refresh? Um, so here's how you do it. So first, I'm gonna use the same instrument um, that I used in the last video. So abstract mallets. All I'm gonna do is press Command D to duplicate that track. I'm gonna press the letter E to open up the edit window. For right now, we're just gonna focus on step sequencer. So we're gonna click on that and you already see the rows represent the eight notes in the scale, notes for me. So you can actually um, add more notes, uh, easy way to do it. Now I'm gonna come over here. No, I believe it's in the library so let's go to templates let's go to minor and let's go to minor all right so when you go to minor it gives it to you right here but now it's transposed it to c being the root key but we're in f minor so we want to change that we are simply go to functions transpose to project key so now we have uh, two octaves of F minor. All right, so we can close this now. And mm, yeah, let's do 16 steps, one bar. So it's on solo. I'm gonna turn on my metronome. Even though I'm not playing in real time, I just wanna get a feel for the, the tempo. All right, so I'm going to start at the bottom, my root note. And I know whatever whatever step I, I click on, it's going to be in the key of the song. So really, it's just about sense of timing now and what sounds good. If you mess up, if you hit a note too late or too early, you don't have to quantize. Just click on it to deselect it and put the note somewhere else. So I like, I like that groove is doing. that's catchy first if you go up here to the top right now we're clicked on the on off thing so that means whenever we click on something it's going to turn it on or off we can also go here to velocity so now if i wanted to adjust the velocity of each note i could do that If you're looking for a new fresh way to kind of jolt your creativity or if maybe playing on a MIDI controller isn't an option or isn't what works best for you, you can create um, melodies in here in the step sequencer. All right, good. All right, thanks for checking it out in the second to last video. I need to erase that. All right, thanks for checking this out. In the upcoming and final video in this series, uh, we're gonna go over how to add special sauce to your melodies.